Hey guys, someone asked for help on my Discord server and I thought it would be a good opportunity to make a video about Boolean cleanup and to show you how to properly model that crown. And because people call me the king of topology, I couldn't resist to put that joke in the title of this video. This video is sponsored by JLC3DP.com. JLC3DP.com is a company that provides 3D printing and CNC machining services. I just received a new 3D printing model and it looks so good. It has been printed in white resin and the quality is awesome. Let's compare it side by side with my 3D render. As you can see, both are identical. The surface is very smooth. I also got this one last time. And look at them, they are so good looking. They look 100% like my digital 3D models. If you want to 3D print your models like me, all you have to do is to create an account on the website jlc3dp.com, upload your model and choose your material. You have a wide choice of materials, such as resin, nylon, metal, plastic, and you can also print in full color if you want. And if you're a new user, you can get a $70 free coupon to spend on the website. Click on the link in the description to get your coupon. You can take a screenshot of the reference picture if you want. First, press shift right click to place the 3D cursor onto the black circle. Add a circle with 8 sides. When you model something, it's always a good idea to start with a low amount of subdivision and to increase it later if needed. Raise it a little bit. Orient it with the picture. Add a subdivision surface modifier and apply one level to increase the density. Select these two edges, extrude them. Remove this edge, select these edges, right click, subdivide. Scale it inwards. Ctrl B to bevel it. Press GG to slide the vertices along the edges. Add a loop at the center. GG on these vertices as well. Select these edges, right click loop tools space to evenly space the edges out. Extrude these two edges. Then extrude this one on the x-axis. Align your geometry with the picture. Extrude like so. Move this vertex closer to the other one. Ctrl R to add some loops to match the curvature. Add a loop at the center. Press K to select the knife tool and cut a pointy shape to sharpen this area. Select this edge, X, limit dissolve. Add some loops, keep refining the shape. Right click loop tools space. Add two more loops to reduce the surface stretching. You can't add a loop on the right side because the edge flow doesn't allow it. You have to select these edges, right click, subdivide. Add a cut with the knife tool. Merge these two vertices at the center by pressing M. Let's reduce the edges on top and at the bottom. Merge these vertices, remove these edges, and move this vertex. Repeat the previous steps. Add three horizontal loops. Duplicate the circle and put it on the black circle on the left. We have to increase the polygon density because the tiny area that connects the shapes is very small. So separate the face by selection by pressing P. Add one level of subdivision. Control J to join the shapes. Press F to bridge the faces and move the vertices like so. Add a mirror modifier and apply it. Then select these edges and bridge them. Add a loop at the center. Ctrl B to bevel it like so. Select this edge and raise it to match the picture. Extrude on the y-axis and keep extruding to get the correct shape. Add some loops and mirror to the other side. And 
repeat the previous steps to model the top area. Add a loop, scale the vertices, add another one, extrude, F to bridge, add a vertex, cut the shape like this, mirror to the other side, add two loops, connect the vertices. We have two triangles, but let's turn them into quads, add some loops, GG, and the problem is fixed. Right click loop tools, space, mirror to the other side, Duplicate the circle and orient it with the picture. Add three vertical loops to get a more uniform density. Then two horizontal loops. Select these rings of edges. Right click loop tools space. Let's connect the circle. Snap these vertices to merge them. You need to have the auto merge vertices button turned on. Right click on this edge to add a vertex, GG to slide it to the right. Same to the other side. Add a star. Scale it downwards. And duplicate it once. Ctrl J to join them. Select the crown. Ctrl numpad minus to add a boolean modifier. Click on fast to cut the hole. Apply the modifier. I'm going to protect the shape of the stars by adding a bevel. So first we need to extrude the shapes. Select the sharp edges. Ctrl B to bevel. P to set the shape value to 1. A to change the bevel size. Don't worry if the geometry is overlapping. Select these faces and remove them. Now let's remove all the unnecessary edges to get more space to work. And I'm going to rebuild the topology around the stars. Each sides of the stars are going to be connected with diamond polygons. When you don't have anything to connect to the vertices, just draw the polygon with the knife tool, and I will take care of this area later. You can mirror to the other side to have a clear view of what you're doing. Repeat the previous steps on the other star. In this case, we have some pores, but that's totally normal. Don't worry about that on flat surfaces.
let's find another way to connect this area. Add two vertices and connect them. Press K for the knife tool and connect like so. Mirror to the other side. Now let's make the topology more even. Right click loop tools space. Right click smooth vertices and increase these values. Extrude the faces to add some thickness, then select the sharp edges, but deselect the stars, they already have a bevel. I will add support loops later. Ctrl B to bevel. Connect these vertices at the center. And repeat what I'm doing. Connect these vertices and remove this loop. We don't need it anymore. Remove also this one. Press K to select the knife tool and add a cut like so. Space the edges out. Same here. Increase the density a little bit and press right click loop tool space. Mirror to the other side. And here, let's find another way to connect everything. Connect your vertices like so. Finally, add a loop inside of the stars. Bevel the edges to get support loops on each sides of the model. Mirror to the other side. Connect the vertices at the center of the model, and it's done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. It helps me a lot with the algorithm. Don't forget to join the Discord server if you need some help on your projects. Thank you for watching. Bye.